10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff. My name is Stella Hunt, and today we're going to cover the basic laws of motion that go into making a rocket fly, such as the laws. We're also going to be covering chemical reactions and what makes uh, thrust happen, and end it all with a real life scenario. All right, so in understanding rocket science, we need to understand Newton's three laws of motion. So we got the first law of motion, which states that for anything that is in motion, it will stay in motion. So basically, we have inertia. If you think of an object that's in motion, unless there's any counteracting forces on it, it will, it will continue to proceed in its path of acceleration. We've got the second law, which states that force is a product of mass times acceleration, basically F equals MA, the equation we all know and love from grade 11 high school physics. <laughs> Finally, we have the third Newton's law of motion, which states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. We could just do an example. If I jump, I'm going to feel a force on my legs, which is the force being imposed to me from the earth. So after understanding Newton's laws for understanding rocket science, we have to understand how a rocket flies applying those laws. Well, the first thing to start with is a very simple example using a bottle rocket. So a bottle rocket, which is something we're going to demonstrate at the end of this video, was made using vinegar and baking soda, which when combined create a chemical reaction that causes pressure inside the bottle to form at the top. When enough pressure builds, it causes all of that liquid to push out the bottom with so much force that it creates an equal and opposite force, just like Newton's third law, in the opposite direction, pushing the bottle up, launching it like a rocket. So after looking at the first simple example of how a bottle rocket launches, using pressure and the chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar, we can look at how an actual rocket launches, which uses the rocket equation. Now, the rocket equation is very complicated, and it's something that scientists have dealt with over many, many years, and it basically uses Newton's second law of motion, F equals MA, which is force equals mass times acceleration. And what the rocket equation means is for a rocket to launch, you need fuel, and fuel adds mass. And the more mass you're adding, you need more fuel. And this is an endless cycle that means the more fuel you add, the more mass you have to move, meaning you need more fuel. And the way they get around this is by dividing rockets you commonly see into three main sections, where you have the big thrusters at the bottom with all the bulk of the fuel to get it out of Earth's atmosphere, to cause enough pressure and enough thrust out the bottom to launch the rocket as far up into space to escape Earth. And then after that, you'll see them deploy it. They'll let it go, they'll detach it from the actual rocket, and it'll fall back down to Earth. And then they get a little bit farther, they use all the fuel in the second stage, and they launch it as far as they can, and then they detach it as well. And then they have the last little part, which is the main part of the rocket that travels, what got us to the moon, and what is going to get us beyond, hopefully. And that is how you deal with rocket equation currently. So you guys know how we're not rocket scientists. So today we're going to use a model rocket example as our real life demonstration. So we're going to use all of the uh, principles we learned in this video, such as Newton's laws, chemical pressure buildup, which leads into thrust that shoots the rocket up, and then how to build a rocket at home. It's not rocket science, guys. Hi guys, my name is Steve, and today me and my cameraman are going to show you guys how to make a at-home rocket. Um, so the supplies you need, you need a water bottle, you need a couple sticks, you need vinegar, baking soda, something to plug the, uh, the water bottle. In this case, we're using Nerf bullets, some scotch tape, and scissors. We currently can see Steve assembling the bottle rocket. He is taking sticks and securely strapping them to the sides of the bottle with tape to make sure when he has the opportunity to add all the chemicals, he can quickly flip it over and there's enough room for it to be stable and allow all those liquids to launch out. We now see Steve and Tala getting ready for launch by Tala using a funnel made out of paper and pouring in the baking soda with the vinegar already inside the bottle and Steve waiting on standby to quickly screw on the cap to lock in that pressure and then flip it over and wait for launch. And after many failed attempts, <laughs> our rocket finally launched. <laughs>